Hello, fellow songsters, and welcome to The Ben Aaron Show, season two, week 43. This week, I listened to nothing but the band Fleetwood Mac and tried to write a song in a similar style as maybe according to their best album of all time, Rumors. Fleetwood Mac formed in London, England in 1967 and primarily played British blues-based rock, similar to that of maybe Cream or the Yardbirds, kind of something more creative, but very, very bluesy music. They were originally fronted by guitarist and vocalist Peter Green, who had some minor hits, but most notably Black Magic Woman, which Santana would later make a big hit out of and is one of his crowd favorites. Fleetwood Mac would cycle through a lot of musicians during its formative years, but the original members, we'd say, would be uh, Mick Fleetwood, who played a really creative drum style, and then we had uh, John McVie, who played uh, the bass guitar and kept all the rhythm together, and his wife, Christine McVie, who played beautiful keyboards and also wrote songs for the band. Then on New Year's Eve in 1974, Lindsey Buckingham, who played guitar, wrote songs, and sang, joined the band alongside his then-girlfriend Stevie Nicks, who sang and also wrote songs. This would then become the most popular formation of the group Fleetwood Mac. They released their 1975 self-titled album with huge success, but in 1976, as they were writing and recording rumors, Stevie Nicks and Lindsey Buckingham ended their relationship. Also, John McVie and Christine McVie ended their relationship in a divorce. And also, Mick Fleetwood divorced from his wife and briefly dated Stevie Nicks, all while writing this album Rumors. But like the catastrophic destruction of gigantic stars in our known universe, with all of their pain and emotion and hard work, they would collapse and explode in a musical supernova known as Rumors. Their album released in 1977. Front to back, this is one of the most critically acclaimed albums in the history of recorded music. It is phenomenal. In trying to write a song in a similar tune to Fleetwood Mac, I started with what I knew best, and that was the guitar. Now, Lindsey Buckingham liked to play a finger-style guitar, and he liked to play with, like, Travis-style picking, which really essentially means that your thumb is playing the bass while your fingers are doing more intricate work on the higher strings. It results in more of, like, an orchestral sound out of one instrument. I then wanted to add some bass guitar to give some definition to the thumb part of the guitar lick, like boom, boom. But when I listened to the playback of it, I realized that the bass was interfering with the intricacies in the guitar playing, so I cut out the bass. I decided to add drums to the song to give it a little faster feel, but I found the same thing happen. The drums took away from the delicate parts of the guitar, so I had to eliminate the drums. So while recording this song, I realized something very simple but very important that I haven't yet learned firsthand exactly. It's that not every song needs a band to back it up. A lot of the songs on Rumors and other Fleetwood Mac albums just have Lindsey Buckingham playing the guitar and singing. And that's, you know, if it fits the song, go with it. Go with your gut when it comes to uh, instrumentation for a song. As many of you know, I participate in this Song a Week challenge over at reddit.com, and this week's challenge was to write a love song, a very simple and generic topic, but I decided to write my song in a, a minor key, unrequited love ballad way, and I dedicated this song to none other than the mysterious, gypsy, soul-singing, music goddess herself, Stevie Nicks. So without any further ado, here's my brand new original song, I Think I Love You, Stevie Nicks. Please enjoy the following. I feel guilty listening to your broken heart I wish I could tell you was just the start You look oh so happy Spinning in your 
Thanks for listening to my brand new original song, I Think I Love You, Stevie Nicks, will be available on my upcoming album, Diamonds, to be released in the spring of 2018. Until then, you can download my other albums, Clubs, Hearts, and Spades over at benaaronmusic.com. But before you head over there, make sure you leave a comment for me to sing like these beautiful comments from last week's video. Really like this one, gonna give the eagles a listen. Hug from Brazil, cool lyrics been a fantastic travel in the history of music. I always enjoy your videos. Thank you very much. The eagles are one of our favorite bands of all time. Really great job, you nailed the vocal harmony vibe. Great tribute to the eagles and Vincent Van Gogh. Such a classic band that everyone should listen to Don't think I'll be playing the spoons anytime soon Thanks for the comments and the love Thank you for tuning in to the Ben Aaron Show. I hope you learned a little about Fleetwood Mac this week, and maybe I inspired you to create your own original song in their style or any other style that you choose. And until next time, this is Ben Aaron telling you to keep on practicing and get out there and play. Ooh.